Hey, we're back. Uh, so in the last video, you figured out how to put all of your data points onto the graph. So you should have something like this. Um, if you don't like the way it looks, you can click auto arrange again, and then you can go up to the corners and you can start pulling it around. And so you get the graph that, that, uh, that you want. So the second part, this next part is to find the equation of the line that goes through this. And what you want to do is you want to pick two points that you think describes the trend of, of these points. So what you don't want to do is maybe pick uh, this one and this one because then the line will go through those two points and it's going down. And we definitely see that this trend is going up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this point right here and I'll pick, uh, I'll pick this one as well right here. So I'm going to go over to another software and we'll find the, the equation of that line. So the slope we take the y values and we subtract them, 9.2 minus 7.5, divide 22 minus 17, which is what, Mr. Anderson? Well, the slope is 0.34. Okay, so the slope is 0 0.34, which equals m. And then what we want to do is we want to put this into y equals mx plus b, which is... Uh, Let's do 9.2 equals 0.34 times 22 plus b. And solve for b. What do we get? Uh, 1.72. So y equals 0.34x plus 1.72. Now, when we graph this, it should go through those two points. So that's a guarantee sort of check. If it doesn't go through those two points, we know we've done something wrong. So let's go back to our graph. You're going to go to this, uh, this button right here. It's got like a little curve. Well, it says curve fit. So click that. You're going to go to linear. Actually, what we're going to do just for fun is we'll define a function and we'll go f of h is equal to m of h, which is our hand, plus b. And I think we need a times right there. And we'll do this called linear. Okay, so that's the one we want. So if you did it right, you'll put it, you'll get an M and a B here, which you both get to choose. So that M was 0.34 and the B was 1.72. And you can see that it goes exactly through those two points, which is exactly what I wanted. All right, and there's the equation of your line. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to find the best possible model for this series of data. Um, what we've done is we've only taken into account two points in this, this function that we're going to choose to, um, it's called the least squares regression line. It will give us the best possible, best possible linear function. So go click on the graph, go up to the same function, the curve fit, and click your linear okay. and try fit. And hey, boom, look at there that. it is. See how close we are? We're actually 0.366 actually really close. and 1.2. Yeah. Uh, we were pretty close. So just push OK, and it will put it right in there on top of it. You can see right there. Um, so that's pretty actually close. the best fit. That's line. the best one, the best one that, could, that is possible. Okay.